So at the moment I'm making a call to Leica Mobile. This is the a company who is it's a basically an Indian slash UK company and those two countries are some of the strongholds of uh, scamming around the world. So just to let you know what's happened, I've gone on the phone to, to basically tell them that I've been on this plan since 2015. As you can see here, it's a one gigabyte plan. I moved to this plan, which you can clearly see here, is a four gigabyte plan. It doesn't say anywhere here that four gigabytes if you've had a f if you've got a new customer. Uh, their their phone lines are joke. Now I've got to turn this down. So their 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 phone line they they routinely hang up on you when you call. That's just one of their modus operandi, right? The other thing they do is when you don't do things their way, they'll never escalate something because no escalation is there. What they do is they come back and try to offer you something. In this case, they've tried to offer me ten days. Instead of the 30 days of 4 gigabytes plan, they've offered me 10 days to use the 4 gigabytes, as if that's somehow going to make keep me happy. And then I need to change back to 23 because upgraded to 29 doesn't give me 4 gigs, as advertised on the website. So they're blatantly breaking the law here. There'll be no... Even though we have Advertising Standards Authority in the UK and in America, you have an equivalent and you've got, uh, what is it, commerce regulations here. These people do nothing. They, they take your taxes, they don't do anything. So if you look at the more, this goes into the terms and conditions here, you'll actually see, first of all, even if the terms here said that this wasn't relevant for your for your plan, which it doesn't say here, and it also doesn't say here, the terms and conditions are, first four gigabytes of data up to four gig LTE, it says continue at previous offers of, of one gig high speed limited offer. Um, now, there you go, this is what she's talking about. Like a mobile number was activated before this this date. Now see, you can't just get away with that because you know why? That has to be here and also here where it's advertised. So what they need to be doing is either putting it there like brackets or even an asterisk leading to somewhere else or a link that goes to that page because or terms and conditions, sorry, for here in this part. But they're not doing that. Why? Because they're scamming people into upgrading a plan that gives them nothing extra. So what I had here is she offered me four gigs and then I said to her, you want me to be happy with, four, with the four gigs that I've already paid for for an extra 10 days. And then you know what she did? Did what they usually do when you ring up. She hung up. Before Tracy, or, or sorry Grace, said she wouldn't hang up on me, and then as soon as I, I refused to accept her ten days giving me exactly what I'd paid for, but for half the time, then she hung up immediately without even any word of it, with, with no question. She's an arrogant Indian woman, and a lot of them that work for this company are the same. They're trained to be that way. They operate in the UK. You got the same help desk uh, because they want to spend as little money as possible because these Indian companies are very very stingy. They must have my number on block now because it only took a few minutes to answer last time. So, and this is what they do. So, I just advise to anyone if you ever think about going like a mobile, just don't, just go somewhere else. Uh, they have no customer service at all. You have people who are there just to justify, let's say, mm, to tick a box. Yes, if you call, the phone gets answered. Technically, that's customer service, you know, uh, but they don't, they'll never do anything for you. They'll never sort any problem for you. Everything is done through the website because they don't want to hire any people. And this is why when you ask to escalate, they can't. Because there is no escalation path. Because there's no people that work there. There's one person, Grace, and a few others. They're all really rude. There must be like one family that run the whole thing. Anyway, I'm just posting this up to show what a scamming bunch of scumbag pieces of turd they are. And uh, and I'll link this into all of their channels on the... On, uh, on social media because all I'm doing is showing exactly what they are which is scum scam assassin scumbags